to my last question, I, I maybe you've addressed it. Uh, many coal producing states and Midwestern states, this, this comes from Tom Bryan in Boston, uh, that use coal production um, are, are opposing Obama's energy policy in this bill. How do we in Massachusetts um, help to get this, the senators in those states? Well, I mean, I think part of what's going on is there is a transition going on. Um, you know, the fact that, you know, they're building wind turbines in Newton, Iowa, starts to help. The fact that, you know, that there are, um, you know, that, that, you know, there is um, energy efficiency programs in Tennessee and West Virginia, you know, starts to help that, that, that the world is changing. Um, you know, I think that it really does come down to ensuring that we understand what motivates people. You know, I, and this goes back to some of my, you know, I, I mean, I remember I was working on helping the citizens down in South Weymouth oppose um, the, the Mills Corporation. You ever been to a Mills thing? You know, that said they build these giant shopper team centers. They wanted to build New England Mills in South Weymouth Naval Air Station and a large shopping mall in New England. And, you know, it really split that community of Weymouth, Massachusetts. And the citizens we were working with said, you know, our town council is awful, they're in the bag. And so listen, these people, they're just trying to keep the schools open. They're trying to pay the firefighters. What you need to do is show them that they can make as much tax revenue for the town, they can build a healthy future for the town without the mall. And what we need to do is not be disrespectful towards the impulse that drives those folks to protect the mine worker jobs and to protect the economy of their states. What we need to do is present to them an affirmative vision of how there is a future for them, for their states, for their states' economies, for their workers after we make this grand transition to a cleaner energy future. And, and to not be dismissive of what is driving them. They care about their children, they care about their grandchildren, they care about their citizens. We just need to be able to show them an affirmative path forward and, and you know, not regard them as an adversary because you know, they are inherently evil. They're trying to do the best they can and we need to show them a path forward. I forgot to mention that in your packets you do have a sample petition if you want to use it in your efforts.